Crystal Buddies and welcome back to a create a sim and an edit and today I have one of my very good friends with me Crystal you guys probably know her from a few videos now which I will probably link throughout this video if you want to check out our other commentary but yeah say hi Crystal hi hello everybody <laughs> so Crystal what are we talking about today we're talking about Game of Thrones. Yes. Dun, we dun, are done. Dun. <laughs> <laughs> so I did like a little build, I think, at like the beginning of the season when it began. But I was like, you know what? I'm so pissed and I can't. I started a build for you guys. And I'm like, I can't focus on my build because that like Game of Thrones season um, eight, which is so horrible at the end. Like I was like I, I have to I have to do something I have to rant about it. I'm sure some of you guys <laughs> are gonna feel our pain. So comment down below if you watch Game of Thrones. Thrones. <laughs> and if you don't and you're just here just to see me like do this creative sim, then you're awesome, man. I love you. <laughs> but anyway, um, where do where shall we start? So for you, what was your best moments? Which was the worst moments for you in the season? I feel like you should start with that because you have a lot to say about it. I do. <laughs> and then I'll go off. <laughs> You're just very passionate about the topic, so I'll let you start. <sighs> passionate. Well, I want to leave. What if. Okay, first want to say is that I blame her. She got me to this TV show, and I started watching it. Um, I want to say like a spring break, like a spring on spring break, like a month mm -hmm. before. And I just. I was just like really, really annoyed because like I. I had, like, okay, so I wasn't annoyed, but, like, I had this time on spring break to keep watching it, but then, obviously, I had stuff to do. I had I had to go back to school, you know? And I just had to, like, slow down and things like that, so, like, I watched, like, an episode a night or something like that, like, an episode or two a night. To be exact, you started watching May 9th. May 9th? Oh, May 9th? Because really? I, I slept over May mm -hmm. 8th, mm -hmm. and that next day you texted me, and you're like... I started watching that Game of Thrones show you recommended. <laughs> um, yeah, May 9th. So or March 9th. March 9th. Yeah. So yeah. So I had like a week where I like binge watch like the first few seasons, and then after that, I just I I had to like watch like an episode a night or two episodes per night to like get to it to like be able to watch the season eight in time, mm -hmm. and it took me. Like, it seems like it took me, like, forever, but at the same time, I feel like I watched so much at the same time, so I'm just, like, kind of, like, going through that period to be like, well, what else do I watch now? <laughs> You're going through your grief process. Yeah, my grief process, I guess, apparently, that people are calling it. <laughs> I'd say you're in the denial stage. I am in I am in denial. I don't, I don't Or the anger stage, I'm not really sure. <laughs> anger or denial. Um, I'll accept it. I'm kind you. of at acceptance, so <laughs> But granted though, you watched you started watching it a lot, lot, lot before I did though, didn't you? I started watching in like like fall of twenty eighteen. Mm-hmm. So definitely not when it was like in like its beginning seasons. But you did watch it at more like a calming period, I would say. Yeah, I didn't binge watch it as fast as you did. Yeah, for sure. You had like definitely a lot more time. Yes, to process. Process it. Process all the information. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go, like, let's talk about, talk about the season. I think that the first, like, few episodes were actually pretty decent. Or decent. I thought it kind of went to shit after they had their like battle for like the night king and stuff like that the spoiler alert episode. too if you guys haven't seen it obviously there's gonna be spoilers in this video um but yeah when did it start going shit for you after the long night episode so, which was episode three of season eight yeah and, and go ahead <laughs> yeah so obviously after episode three after that big um battle broke out mm -hmm. okay you expect mm -hmm. okay it's gonna be a calmer episode not much much is gonna happen they're just gonna be preparing to battle cersei's army mm -hmm. so i expected season four or episode four to be like a little more calm chill. and chill yeah and i'm like okay so episode five came around mm -hmm. not good not impressed kind of disappointed actually yeah. not very disappointed they're very disappointed and i'm like okay Season finale, they're going to redeem themselves. They're re going to redeem themselves. We're going to do this. They did the exact oh, opposite no. of redeem themselves. Oh, honey, why? <laughs> why? 
There were tears. There there were tears. <laughs> <laughs> she literally sent me a snap nap with her, like, crying with her streaming on the face. Like, I'm crying because it was so horrible. <laughs> yeah, I didn't cry because I was upset about the characters. I cried because the writers did such a terrible job. <laughs> and I wasn't pleased with how they wrote, wrote it. Wrote it. I yeah. wasn't happy. It was either. too rushed. The characters didn't. First end of up all, being where they should have first been. of all, I'm mad because Cersei died by getting bricks trampled on her head. Like, what? No. Girl, no. I was expecting someone to, like, <laughs> like slice your head off or something. Give me something. I was expecting Jamie to kill her. Yeah, I thought so, too. I thought he was going to go to kill her. And I was like, I'm so proud of this man for, you know, like, actually redeeming himself. Nah. No. No. Like that that didn't happen. He, he died with her. I was expecting a better death for her. I was expecting a better and death for her too. She kind of just got the easy way out. No. It wasn't satisfying. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry too. I have like a can in my hand, so if you guys hear like snapping or something like that, that's why. This recording might be a little rough today. <laughs> um, let's move on. Um, so you have a lot of feelings about Bran, so I'll let you go because she hates Bran. Like she couldn't stand Bran from the beginning of the season, so I'll let her deal with this one. Do we swear on this channel? <laughs> <laughs> you could. Yeah, I'll let. I'll, this is since this is a Game of Thrones video. Game of Thrones is quite graphic. I will allow it. Allow it because if you're a child and you're watching this and you're thinking about watching Game of Thrones, please don't. <laughs> okay, I just have one thing to say. Bran uh -huh. Stark. <laughs> God, I'm getting angry just thinking about it. Is the most useless character mm -hmm. in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Tyrion is batshit crazy for telling everybody that he had the most interesting story because he literally did nothing. Like, yes, he was in the show, and mm -hmm. yes, he had a plot, but the fact that he became king at the end... Mm -hmm. I was so furious. I was disappointed. He didn't do anything <laughs> all eight of those seasons. I I feel like I'm mad about it too because like we never really got to really understand why the Sea Riot Raven was important. Exactly. And I feel like we got a little taste of it, but yeah. not like what we should have. He did not. That show did not explain or. It did not transfer the information to the audience as mm -hmm. to why he deserved to be king because he was he not didn't he was not one king. of the strongest characters in that show. No, uh, he had like the boringest personality too. He was he's cri his cryptic and weird comments though make sense because honestly I was talking to this about Crystal and I have a theory that I really feel like Bran, even though he said he didn't want it and things like that, didn't want to be king. I think that's bullshit because like Bra was like playing like like playing us from the beginning because he because he if you listen to his cryptic comments like now they make sense like his weird cryptic comments make sense because he was expecting it, and he was expecting to be king and he's like mm -hmm. bitch i'm gonna i'm just gonna let everybody like i'm gonna let danny burn the city down and he's like and he's like fuck everybody else the north isn't the only one who's important we're like stands like hey girl we're gonna hey girl hey <laughs> We're gonna no, we're gonna rule Winterfell and like like screw the other six kingdoms because like they don't matter we matter and we and we're not gonna break the wheel fuck the wheel we're we're just gonna <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna roll we're gonna roll this thing and we're just we're gonna do it right and we don't care about how the way it should have been this is the way it is and if they don't like it who cares and I I hate Sansa I really do Sansa yes. I don't like her she makes me mad because like she. Basically, she she betrayed John. She betrayed him so hard for so much drama, and she and in the end, they like sent him to the wall. My poor baby, they like sent him to the wall. <laughs> I'm so I'm not okay. I'm not okay with that for him because like he was the character that did the most and like had such a tragic story happen to him. He he had to kill his love her. He had to kill the woman that he loved. I just, it was just not, it was not a good time for, for that, not a good time to be John, honestly. And I just feel bad because, like, he just, 
he got he he had nothing in the beginning and he got nothing and like i just wanted the world for him honestly like you i was rooting for him and daenerys like i was like girl please no i was like like you could do this and be like he loves you and like even though that Missandei died and jora mm -hmm. and her army and then her two dragons like i was like girl you could pull through this we can get through this don't get mad get glad <laughs> <laughs> Like we could do this, and then like it just it just happened horribly, and then like it just it just broke my heart because John knew that like oh she's crazy and I'm gonna have to kill her. Like she she's not she's never gonna change her mind. Like I have to kill her before someone else does and like tortures her for like days or something like that. So that's just kind of like I guess the how it went, and he just kind of gave her one last happy moment, and he just mm -hmm. like right right in the heart. And I cried. That's the reason why I cried. <laughs> but yeah. On another note, mm -hmm. I was upset that the Night King's death mm -hmm. was way quicker than the mountain. Oh my god. Don't even get don't even get me started about that. Like the mountain like storyline with like the hound, I felt like it was kind of boring. And like the the scene where they ended up fighting that was good it was i enjoyed that scene but the fact that aria killed the night king that quickly mm -hmm. and that it took way longer to kill the mountain was kind of confusing it seemed like the night king's character got played a little bit as well i feel like i don't know because like i know some people were saying I know some people were saying that, like, they were disappointed that Arya got to kill the Night King and Jon didn't get to kill the Night King. But honestly, I'm not really, I'm not really upset about that because I feel like it kind of gave somewhat of a purpose for all of Arya's training for her to actually mm -hmm. get to kill the Night King. But what I am pissed about is that, like, it had to end so horribly for him. Like, he had, like, the real threat was apparently Danny, and I feel like that's such a horrible message because I feel like so many people liked her and i just feel like it was just i don't know like i i, I just feel like it was kind of almost like a little sexist like because like we had like two mad queens but like you know you have a character like theon who quote unquote was crazy but got through it so like what like what is that it's like is it like all woman crazy apparently like love makes women crazy i just didn't like that message and i told you if it was a man they wouldn't have thought she was no crazy. they wouldn't have thought or she was, was crazy because like like honestly stannis did all the same things but he wasn't crazy john even john have even executed people too in the past in that past and like when they were like the directors were like saying in relation oh you know she was crazy from this moment because she did this i'm like no because like john has executed people and like not felt bad about it the same way so is Tyrion so it's all these other characters so like why is that any different I just thought it was bullshit guys <laughs> it was a good show tip it was a wonderful show but disappointing ending I guess but if you haven't watched it and you're considering oh shit maybe I shouldn't watch this watch it but like stop at season seven honestly <laughs> <laughs> and yeah I'm sorry about my dog in the background who's like barking like nuts but yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for Crystal for coming on the channel again. Because I know we You're both welcome. rant a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we both always have rants when we're together. Rants, rants, rants. Um, oh yeah, guys. Also too, we finally finished Sex in the City oh, last yeah. night. Mm -hmm. FYI from our last video. Because we did a build for that. Now that was a good ending. That was a good ending. That was very satisfying. I was happy about that one. And yeah. <laughs> we're almost done with the edit here guys so i'm gonna cut off right here make sure you comment rate subscribe and make sure to check out the channel for more videos and i will speak to you guys all soon okay bye 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 bye